Hi guys, how are you? This is my first YouTube video for 2023. I promised you I am going to film a lot more videos in 2023 um, of my planner setup and other things, but I wanted to show you what I have so far for my planner setup. It may change, it may not change, but this is what I have currently. So I actually have about four planners. <laughs> Um, that I am actively using. I always have a personal planner, a personal ring bound planner, and this planner is just always a backup because I just can't get away from rings. And um, I absolutely love rings, so I always have the personal size ready, all set up every year. Whether I use it or not, it's a whole different story. But I wanted to do a quick flip of this. So this is the Louis Vuitton Tiger. I actually got this not too long ago and it is brand new. I love that it is black. Um, it looks very professional. I also love that it is not um, Louis Vuitton everywhere. It just has a very blind embossed here that you can barely see. It's just very subtle. So I just love this and I have this. So I have some stickers here. My pockets are never super decorated because they're really more functional than anything else. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have yet to put this in. This is a dashboard from Lucy Plants Life. I have a dashboard here and then a magnet here, which is a espresso machine. This is actually from my shop and I will link it here in the description below. Let me take this off. So this is from Color Cafe. This is a dashboard from Hey Planner Girl. It is a printable. And this also is from Color Cafe. My dividers are actually, that's my password, so I'm gonna take those out. My dividers are actually from Lines Plus Paper. I love her dividers. I don't know if they open yet for 2023, but I got this before the year end. So this is the Frosted with White um, labels. So I always start off with um, the year ahead or this year. So I always have a calendar up front. This is a tracker as well for the full year. And I have this from Hey Planner Girl. This is from Creatively Planned. And then all my inserts here are actually from Rosie Papatery. And I have an affiliate code. If you go to my Instagram, you will link directly on to um, my bio and that will take you to the link. But if not, I will link my code below in the description below so you can use that and you would save, I think, 10%. So this is the monthly. I like the month on two pages and it's pretty blank. Um, so I have the full year in here. And then I have my weeklies, and weekly is also from Rosie. And these are the classic weeklies, which is, um, I think this is weekly number two. There is two of the same layout. Um, one is just without the to-do list and it has something else. But I kind of like this because it's very simple. So this is how I kind of use it in the past. I've used this last year, so I'm planning on having using this again. What I love about it is that January, February, March, they're all separated. So I love that you can know you can put three months at a time, four months at a time, or the whole year like I did. So it's easily um, sorted. Then I went into my well wellness portion. Um, this is actually a dashboard from my minimal planner. This is a half dashboard from my loose uh, Lucy Plant Lives. And this is an insert from Brooklyn Grace. So I plan on actually using this um, to write down my exercise. So it's like more my workout calendar. Clearly it's empty at the moment, but the intention is there. Um, so I did put a 30-day um, challenge habit tracker, which is from Brooklyn Grace. Um, this bookmark is from someone from Etsy, and I don't remember who, so I'm so sorry. And then I have some financial um, pages here. It's mostly just expenses. So these are just always set up the same way, never anything different. 
and some um, notes pages. So I'm probably going to move out of this very soon. Um, or I would have to um, move some of my inserts out so that I could actually fit what I want to fit in here, which is basically my business, um, which is my shop planner, as well as um, private, which would be my passports and stuff. So that's always set up. Um, do I reach for it all the time? Probably not. Um, what I have been reaching for is this one. This is my B6 Common Planner from Sterling Inc. And this is the B6 Apunto. Um, I never thought I would love this combo of the matte croc and the pistachio inside, but I just do. And I have this postcard from Chop DM for Chinese New Year, for Lunar New Year. And I also have this folder that I plan on putting some stickers and keeping either behind here, or I could actually tuck it in this pocket here. So again, I'm not big on decorating pockets, but this have been super fun to use. Um, I originally got this planner um, as my shop planner and then I just decided that it's very difficult for me to move my shop stuff and my personal stuff into different planners so I decided to use everything all at once so it did take me a little while to get used to um, because I was not used to the size and I've always been a Hobonichi cousin kind of girl so this actually has very similar um, layout as the Hobonichi, um, as well as some extra pages, like goal settings. I'm not big on goal settings, but this actually did work out really well because I can track all my social medias. And then you have your monthly, of course. Um, I try to write as much as I can. And then I use mostly the weekly section. Um, I did not use any of the back here, these empty pages. I probably will um, because I think I'm not going to use them um, like this on a daily. So I probably will just use this mostly on the weekly. So I just have this is now somehow turned into my everyday and I've been really enjoying it. Um, I actually didn't do much here. Um, and just little things like that. So I reach for this when I want to. And this intentionally, when I put in January, I was going to do a half day daily kind of thing. And I just didn't want to repeat myself. So I just thought I would just use the rest of this as like notebook, note pages and stuff. But I do really, really have to enjoy I have to say I enjoy the weekly pages because the sizing is really great. So I have this. Um, there was another one is a project that I started last year, but I never, I started for three days and then never finished. It is the Hobonichi five year journal. A lot of things had happened in 2020 two and I thought it would be fun to actually reflect back so I actually went back to um fill out those dates like um the five-year journal last year in 2022 on those significant dates that I just want to look back like this year or the year after and compare it so like last year my dad passed away he passed away on age 23 so I want to be able to actually have this I wouldn't call it a memory, but definitely something here written down. So I can remember what happened on this day the previous year. You know, we're all getting older, so it just would be fun. But it is quite an upkeep, I would say. I started off okay. Um, there are days that I didn't really fill out and I'm trying not to kill myself over it. Um, there are days that I was very motivated and then I wrote it in the wrong date, which is February which is supposed to be January so I have to wipe that out and rewrite it somewhere else so the concept is really good I like that it is very small um, it's really it's not a whole thesis if you journal you don't have to write it twice 
it's just the highlight of that day so i am planning on using this and i really want to uh have this really mostly filled out by the end of the year and the last but not least is my hobonichi cousin this is the a5 i really just can't get away from this i just love this so much um so this is the a5 uh apunto uh cover i did have some extra little stuff here i have some stickers here um i used this last year loved it and i just keep reaching for this um so it's pretty similar to what I'm doing with the common planner. The only difference is that that one initially started off as a work planner. It just kind of evolved. And you can see I definitely utilize the weekly a lot. And I have so much fun with this weekly. So it is a migra migration of both. It's like my catch-all. So it's my personal, my work, my shop, my expenses, everything kind of isn't in here and what I do with the dailies I just wanted to do like a little journal kind of thing again I don't want to beat myself up if there's empty space which is what I did last year and then I start to fill them out with um, some stickers there are days that I completely forget to write in um, so this is what I have so far. I just did these yesterday. So I haven't really written down anything. But I will catch up on those. Um, but these are just basically daily log journal. Um, also an opportunity for me to play with stickers. These are so cute. And I plan on really getting this whole month completed. So hopefully I'll do a flip at the end of the month. Um, and I can upkeep this. But I always reach back to this, and I just absolutely love it. And I also absolutely love these tabs from Sticky Monster Co. They are plastic and they are sturdy, but they are just so awesome. Um, anyway, I thought I would share, so stay tuned for more, and happy 2023.